Today I'm going to talk about thyroid cancer in brief. Hello friends, I'm Dr. Kingshuk Chatterjee. I'm a head and neck onco surgeon and I presently work with the Manipal group of hospitals in Kolkata. So today I'm going to talk about thyroid cancer in brief. Now thyroid cancer is a cancer which arises from the thyroid gland which is a butterfly shaped gland located in front of your neck. Now not all swellings that happen over your thyroid gland are cancers but some definitely are. The most common thyroid cancer that we encounter in our daily practice is called papillary thyroid cancer for which the cure rates are excellent. There are certain varieties as well which do have a little aggressive course like the medullary thyroid cancer which can happen in families and a rare variety very aggressive anaplastic thyroid cancer but it's fortunate that these constitute only about three to four percent of all thyroid cancers now a patient of a thyroid cancer usually presents to us with a swelling in front of the neck this swelling moves when the patient swallows as such there are no other symptoms of a thyroid cancer now if these swellings are neglected for a very long time because the swellings are painless, these can grow in size over, over years and then cause certain other symptoms like a change in voice, a compressive symptom which means a difficulty while he swallows and in very advanced stages we can have lateral neck nodes as well. Now once a patient comes, the primary duty of a doctor is to diagnose which type of cancer he, is he affected with and to give him a treatment. Before that, I'd like to mention that thyroid cancers are more common in females. But at the same time, we should remember that this doesn't mean that males cannot have thyroid cancer. Now, once a diagnosis is made with an ultrasound guided needle test, which we call a FNSE, a scan, mostly a CT scan of the neck, and in few cases, a MRI or a PET scan is needed. The treatment for all sort of thyroid cancers, majority of the thyroid cancers is surgery. Now at one point of time, it was thought that when a patient have a thyroid cancer, the entire thyroid gland needs to go. But with a better understanding of disease in today's era, even for a thyroid cancer patient, a hemithyroidectomy or removal of half of the gland is also an option. But that depends on case to case basis, depends on where the thyroid nodule is located and all. So the treatment is a hemithyroidectomy or a total thyroidectomy. In some cases when the disease has spread to the lymph nodes, a lymph node removal is also mandated after thyroid surgery in advanced cases where there are adverse features on the final histology, there might be need for another treatment which is called a radioactive iodine treatment which is in the form of a, taking a capsule or a syrup. In thyroid cancers, there is no scope of radiation given from outside, the ray, what we call it, or chemotherapy. The patients need to be under follow-up for a very long time, initially for every three months, then after two years every six months and then after five years yearly once. Robotic surgery in thyroid cancers is also an option in today's day but we should remember that not all cancers and not all stages can be done by a robotic procedure. For very few selected cases, small tumor nodules, a robotic surgery is a procedure by which we actually avoid a scar over the visible part of the neck. We shift the scar to some of the hidden areas like the axilla, the hairline in the back or inside your mouth. So if anyone is diagnosed with a thyroid cancer, it can be you, it can be your friends, your relatives, do not panic, visit us, get yourself treated at the proper time and lead an absolutely normal life. Thank you.